Hello and welcome back to Game Brigade. I am your host, Brian Greer, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Castles of Mad King Ludwig, the Collector's Edition, currently on Kickstarter. If you are new to the show, we do these Kickstarter reviews where we're going to dive deep into the campaign, discuss some of the differences or some of the values of backing this game or potentially not backing this game so that you as consumers can make proper decisions. As a reminder, I am unpaid. I am unscripted. So this is all from the heart. Uh, I'm not being paid by these publishers to present these campaigns to you. I do this as a value to you because I know when I was in your shoes as backers, I wish I had more unbiased opinions. So I would love to dive into this right now and get started. Okay, Castles of Mad King Ludwig, the collector's edition. Uh, this is currently on day 25, so it's a few days in the campaign. Uh, we are at 5,000. 582 backers and $720,000. Uh, I'm actually very impressed with where they're at in terms of the pledge level amount. Normally, we don't see uh, campaigns that are kind of just reprints um, do as well as this one has done. I mean, it is a collector's edition reprint, um, but it kind of shows you the staying power of Castles of Mad King Ludwig. So what is this game, if you aren't aware of it, um, this is a game where you are going to be building a castle uh, and trying to f build the best castle against the people uh, that you're playing against. Uh, effectively, you're going to be drafting tiles and each tile will have a different cost. And on each turn, uh, whoever is the master builder of that turn will be assigning the cost uh, to each tile and the players will actually be paying the master builder the cost. So there's going to be like a sub game within the game of, you know, you want to make sure you're placing tiles, uh, you know, expensive so that people pay you more. Um, but then you also don't want to do them too, too cheap because then uh, you're not going to get the best resources. But if you make something too expensive, no one buys it, then it's a wasted turn. So it's an interesting little sub game. And then as the master builder, when it comes back to you, you have to pay uh, the bank the uh, resources for those uh, the items that you bought. And then that will swap around. And then in that, you will then be building these uh, little sub um, rooms here, making sure that they connect. And then based on special rules in the game, you can't have certain rooms connecting to certain rooms or they'll have drawbacks or negative points. And you'll get bonuses if rooms connect in certain ways. Or if you complete all the doors, you can see like here's some doorways here. If those are all successfully completed, you get bonus points. And the idea of it is as you build this game, you kind of get to see your castle kind of build out in front of you and it's a fun little casual game so this game is a, a reprint from i believe 2012 is when the original one came out but don't quote me on that i didn't i need to double check that and effectively what they're doing this is their collector with the collector's edition they're going to be improving the artwork so you can see this is the new artwork uh, depending on the pledge level you'll get you can get upgraded components and then the biggest pledge level will have colossal components so that you can have epic sprawling castles and we'll dive into that a little bit more but let's talk about value so this game is going to be interesting and i think a big concern for a lot of people is if if i already own the base game do i need to buy this um, or if i am interested in this is it worth the price to buy this now when i can still get the original version uh, at retail. So I went ahead and pulled up, let's make sure that's right, the Amazon price here for Castles of Mad King Ludwig. And this is the retail version of the original copy. And it is selling right now on Amazon for $60. And I checked with my local, uh, um, like my local store and that seems to be roughly the exact price. What I also liked about this is that I was able to show you guys what the original artwork work, artwork looked like for this game so that you can get an idea of what the differences are between the artwork then versus the artwork now. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the regular, regular campaign. Now, now that we know that the MSRP of this game for the base game is $60, that can kind of help justify to you potentially if this game is worth it pledging it if you are 100 percent new to this game so we get the artwork here uh, we're also going to be getting four total expansions and i think that's where you're going to get the value of this game so the collector edition includes the huge secrets and limited polish expansions as well as well as two new ones the new ones are going to be the decrees which are going to be changing uh, some scoring rules or potentially changing the rules to specific rooms. It adds variability and some uh, 
more replayability to the game. And then we're going to be having towers, which are going to be these towers here, which when you complete them, you will take a random chip, or not a random chip, you'll select the chip, you'll put it down here, and then you place the matching castle tower on top of it. In my opinion, I'm actually not as impressed with these currently as they stand, these 3D towers. Um, they very much remind me of um, Tapestry. If you remember Tapestry, the little, little tower houses that came in Tapestry. And uh, I, just, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily think they were needed. Um, and I don't necessarily think these are needed here either. But it's going to add some uh, dimension to the board. Instead of being flat, it's going to you know, make it more you know, 3D-esque. So let's go on down to the upgrades. So if we look at the pledge levels, there's going to be several pledge levels. If we go here to pledge uh, level one, the collector. The collector edition is going to come with game trays. It's going to come with the included art. It's going to come with those expansions referred to. So you're going to be getting a total of four expansions. I checked the secrets expansion on Amazon, and I believe that one is like around $29. So just the secret, secrets expansion alone, plus the base game, if you were to just buy those at retail right now you're coming in close to what this $99 value is but you're getting the limited edition Polish expansion obviously wasn't a, a, a worldwide release plus you're getting the towers expansion plus you're getting the towers miniatures so I do think at $99 there's definitely value here for the base game if that's what you're looking for because you also can't discredit that you're, you're going to be getting the included game trays which every game tray so far that I've gotten from for a game has been incredibly nice. You know, like it enhances the gameplay. It enhances the the the, the setup and the teardown because everything has a place and everything. Uh, it's instead of just having baggies and baggies in a box, you know, full of stuff. Everything is organized and sorted properly, which I really do appreciate. And you can see here on this board, these are the trays that they are included. Now these are renders, so these aren't going to be the official what they're going to look like. But these trays will actually fit on this board. And I don't know because I haven't played Castles of Ludwig, so I don't know how this board interacts, but I do believe this is also the scoring tray, uh, the scoring track, but I am not 100% certain, so please don't quote me on that, but I do know from videos that I've seen that these fit in these specific squares for whatever reason. So if we go down to pledge level two, and I think this is where we get a little bit more interesting in terms of where would I recommend if I was to back this. The Royal Pledge 2 adds a little bit more of that collector's edition feel. So instead of getting all cardboard components, you're going to be including upgrades to metal coins, the plastic swans will be changed, and then poker chips for uh, these favors. So you're going to be increasing the quality of the components, and that's at $30. So if you're someone who's, you know, likes the price at $99 because it's a, it's a really well-priced game at $99, but wants a little bit more of that bling-esque feel, $30 more will get you there. The third one is one that I'm, I'm kind of doing this on because I really want to get Castles of Ludwig myself. I think it would be a really fun game to have. I definitely think I need to have, you know, as a gamer, if you guys know me from my collection, I like heavy games. I like big, epic, sprawly games. Um, but in terms of what gets to the table more are lightweight, easy games that aren't as competitive. So Castles of Mad King Lungwig is kind of that fit for us in terms of it being a less competitive game. It's got a great theme, and I feel like it's not as intimidating for a lot of people. And, and the way it plays, I think a lot of people would appreciate it and, and, and get hooked to it. So the colossal version, though, as I was saying, is, is a little different because you're actually going to be getting two copies of the game. So you're going to get tiles for both. But I want to make sure people are very clear about this. You're not getting two standalone copies. So I've seen people ask questions of, if I buy the colossal, could I take uh, my, the second copy and give it to a friend? And will they have a fully fledged copy for themselves and I can keep the colossal for myself? No. It's not going to happen that way because you're not going to get all the cards required for the game. You're going to get the tiles, but not the cards. So make sure you are aware of that if you're trying to do two for one in here. The Colossal is just more tiles that are larger as well as getting um, a little bit more 
blinged out stuff. So here's an example what we're talking to, about when we're talking about Colossal. This would be the standard size for the throne room, and this would be the Colossal size. So you can have these Colossal size rooms and kind of have your castle actually maybe feel like an epic castle. So these are going to be big. My concern with that is table space and sprawl and how much room are we going to have um, to be able to have you know three or four gamers playing at once uh, with the Colossal expansion. That makes me a little nervous. I do think it would be incredibly fun, um, but is it gimmicky? I don't know. I, I need to see it on the board. And uh, it's hard for me to tell you as consumers uh, what is a good back if I can't tell you how much table space this actually takes and if it's worth it. But what does it include? You get the colossal rooms, the passages, the foyers, the towers. You're also getting an additional game tray to fit all these. And it doesn't mention it here, but looking here, I believe you get these plastic swans instead of uh, token swans. Because if you come up, oh, they're also there. Okay, so... I know they, oh, interesting. I, I was trying to figure out, that was me not catching. I thought I did some really cool research and discovered something earlier, but maybe not. I'm, I guess I missed it. I thought these plastic swans were only included in the colossal one, but I was definitely wrong about that. So ignore that section of the, of the video. Stretch goals are monetary based. I keep going back and forth in terms of monetary based. I will definitely tell you, I think monetary based stretch goals are way more fun. There's a campaign going on right now, Primal, that does daily unlocks, and they hit a million dollars very quickly on day one. And to just be able to have their daily unlock, you know, for that million dollar hit was a little of a letdown. So I do enjoy when you as backers are pushing a game forward and getting more and getting more and seeing things unlock um, to enhance the game. This is more fun to me than daily unlocks. I think. Uh, a sweet spot would be doing both. I think you have daily unlocks, uh, and I think you also have do monetary unlocks to increase the value as a Kickstarter, if you want, in my opinion. So we also have unlocks for Facebook shares, Instagram followers. I think at this point they have unlocked all of them, so congratulations to that. Uh, when I was originally doing research to this, they did not have them all unlocked. So we are going to uh, switch back to my face and discuss my opinions of this game. So if you are a gamer who is looking for a medium uh, lightweight game that is going to be easily accessible by a wide variety of people and can almost be considered a gateway game, I think Mad Ca uh, the, Massel, the, <laughs> Mad Massels, the Castles of Mad King Ludwig is a great option for you. If you are a new person to this series, a new entry, and you haven't purchased it, in my opinion, I would rather buy the Collector's, collector's Edition for 99 or 129 than going for the retail version plus an expansion because I feel like you're getting a lot more here. It's gonna be the updated artwork, the expansions that are gonna enhance the gameplay, uh, plus the game trays to enhance the, uh, the quality of life experience. I think there's just more here. So, and, and to me as a, as a collector personally, uh, I always like to have a complete collection of all the expansions. So be able to get all the expansions in one go in a box that's going to fit everything to me is definitely a bonus because I want to reduce the amount of space I have on my wall instead of having a bunch of boxes that I don't know what to do with. So in my opinion, I think Massel, uh, Massels, I can't even say this name. This name is super hard for me to say. Castles of Mad King Lundwig, I think is a good back in terms of value. But do I think it's going to maintain its value long term or will this be uh, a good back in terms of you are trying to make money? I think that this one has the potential to be less expensive at retail depending on how the game goes and how it's accepted. I think if you wanted to wait, there is a chance that you could probably get this cheaper at retail, especially considering shipping. So I just want to make sure people are aware that Check your retail stores, see if they're going to be offering this in their distributing centers. And there is a chance that I do think that this could be cheaper at retail based on the historical factors that we've seen. But I can't be for sure if that's going to be. So I, I just don't know exactly on this one. Personally, I think it's a good back. Um, but the price in terms of where it could finally settle 
could be less expensive, but it might not be. Who knows? So I know that's not very helpful. I wish I was more helpful, but again, I'm not the publisher and I'm not in with them. So I don't know what their final plans are going to be. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If it is, let me know in the comments down below. I try to do a little bit of a different take on this video than I normally do. Um, again, this is Brian with Game Brigade. If you are still here for the giveaway for the Oathsworn, uh, $100 pledge. We still have that going on right now. To be entered into that, you must be publicly subscribed to this channel. You must leave a comment on one of my videos and like this video as well. The comment for today, you must have included hashtag Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Hopefully you can spell all of it or say it because I sure have a hard time doing that. If you guys can do that, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this game. If this is one that you are considering backing or if it's one that you would probably skip on. I would love to know because I'm kind of on the fence. I, I want this game, but I am definitely backing a lot of games right now. So I got to make sure I check my wallet. I will talk to you all very soon. Have a great day.